Hey everybody, Ekiris here. Welcome back to the Long Dark Iron Woman of Timberwolf Mountain. This will be episode number 22. So, we found that new rifle back there on the body in the, in the back 40. And um, now I think what I want to do is that she just said it's getting dark. I was just trying to remember what time it was. I didn't really... Two hours of daylight left. So let's grab something to drink here. We're just going to, I think, just get some sleep here. And uh, I just kind of want to go and explore... Uh, that back section of the map there, we use the, uh, the, that fallen tree as a bridge, and just, uh, try to learn a little bit more about that, become a little more familiar with it, and see if we can discover anything that we haven't found yet. So, anyway, by the time you guys see this, um, Firewatch will be out. Now, Firewatch isn't really a survival game. It, it takes place in the wilderness, though. It's, I'd say it's a, uh, sorry, there's something messing with my mouse. I think it's, it feels like there's like a little grain of sand or something underneath it. That's weird. Okay, that doesn't really bother me. Um, but Firewatch, I wouldn't say it's a survival game. Um, it looks more like it's a wilderness adventure game, and it's supposed to be sort of a mystery. So, anyway, I think it looks really neat. It um, Also, I, I've started doing uh, American Truck Simulator as more of a, uh, just sort of a, a place that I can just kind of uh, sit down on the... Uh, YouTube uh, psychologist couch and just kind of rant and let let it all flow so without having to think too much while I'm driving or uh, playing because during this game I tend to make my mistakes when I actually uh, I mean, how warm are we? oh we're really warm I tend to make my mistakes when we uh, when we're telling a story or something like that and I figure American Truck Simulator will allow me to talk about life outside of the game a little bit more freely. All right, there we go. 60 degrees, so it's not even close to being. And yeah, we're out of water. Let's grab a couple more there. How's our meat doing? Now, Willow West uh, said in the comments that uh, bear meat actually decays at like a 10% uh, per day or something like that, and um, deer meat decays at like 7% or 6%, I can't remember which, but it's a slower rate, so, um, and then once it's cooked, it actually decays at a slower rate also, for both meats will decay slower, but the trick is to uh, allow it to decay to at least 50%, and then as soon as you cook it, you get it bumped all the way back up to 100%, if you cook it before that, you're basically wasting uh, some, uh, some of the bonus you get from cooking it, so. Um, there's no real rush to go and cook the meat. Um, let's see what we're doing here. Let's get a drink and go through the night. Then hopefully we'll be ready to do some exploring. But uh, all right, six hours left. Let's rest for six and see how the weather's doing. And nice and. Nice and sunny, which probably means it's, if it's super clear, it's probably going to be very cold outside. 35 degrees, so yeah, it would be cold. Uh, look at that, air temp negative 4, wind chill would be negative 28 degrees. But we're it feels like it's just about freezing to us, so we're really well protected with our clothing. Bear hide's 31% cured. These guts are all getting cured. Um, I did want to make that bow, but we don't have enough guts to do that. We're still waiting for those to cure, so... It is what it is. So I can make the best of it. Um, let's see. Definitely want to eat something here, so let's see the smartest. Let's go by condition here. And we probably want to eat this piece of bear meat right here. Those two pieces, that's probably going to be enough. I think it's about 800 calories or 900. Yeah, 900. There we go. And we'll eat that one. That'd be really close to being topped off. And be ready to go. So let's uh, uh, let's see what we got as far as food. We got a soda. Let's grab a pork and bean and a peach. There we go. And then we still got some water that we're carrying, but we're pretty lightweight right now. And just make sure we have our medicines. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Should be good to go. How many bandages do we have? I didn't even know. Four bandages. That's actually a bit excessive, but let's go. Uh, do a little exploring. Oh, you know what? I wonder if this meat's in worse shape. How bad is that? That's about the same. Okay. I could actually put a couple of those in the container, and that would keep them from K 
decaying this fast. Let's do that. Let's put that one in there. That one's not as good. I think these are all going to be about 76%. Let's throw that in there. This piece. And we don't have any room for another piece. So that'll be about it. I wonder if we have that door open. Actually, makes it cooler. 54 degrees. Definitely. It's definitely louder. It's 54, so it's about the same. Whether the door's open or closed. Alright, we got a deer out here, so the animals are out, it looks like. And let's just go for a little wonder here, see what we can find. A bit windy, though. Make sure that we're, uh, we're a little thirsty. Have a drink. There we go. Yeah, it is windy. It is definitely windy. It's slowing me down here. I think we're moving about half speed right now. Wow. It's too bad it's going uh, with the winds in our face. I'd rather, I'd rather have it at our back. I mean, if, it's, if it has to be windy, you know. But uh, I don't think we get a. I don't think we get a bonus for for the wind being at our are back. I don't think we get to go twice as fast. Even though I have been in those conditions where it feels like you're barely walking because of the wind pushing you. Actually, it was um, during a police physical assessment test. It was uh, for a department that I was kind of interested in a while back, and uh, they had to do the you had to do the mile and a half run, and it was on a there's a wolf there. It was on a uh, high school track. And uh, the uh, one one half of the uh, track, as you're going one way, was directly into this like 40 mile an hour wind, and then the opposite side was, you know, obviously the 40 mile an hour wind was at your back. So on the one hand, you felt like you're barely moving, and then uh, and really struggling, and then you get to the other side of the track, and you felt like, oh, this is no big deal. So it's kind of kind of funny, but uh, it all I guess it all probably uh, evened itself out. But, uh, I don't know what it feels like right now in the game. Man, we're still at version uh, 0 .302. So I, I think this next update might be the one. I don't know. I hesitate getting too Nostradamus on us here, but uh, I got that feeling. Because, uh, what is it, it's like uh, almost mid-February. And they're talking about spring 2016 for story mode. So March, April, those are right around the corner. And obviously if I hear anything, I'll I'll let you know. As long as I'm not told to keep it quiet. But I, I don't think I've ever really told us that before, so it's not an issue. They're pretty laid back. Hinterland is pretty laid back. They're on the ball, but very laid back. It's sort of like the place you kind of, I guess, if I was a developer, I would think that would be sort of like the dream, the dream job is to work for them. I think we need to go this way and then across. So we, there might be a bear back by now. I'm not sure if he's been respawn or not, but we need to just be careful about that and be ready to jump behind it. You know what, we should probably actually bring out the flare gun, just in case. kind of wish we had a shadow, where we could see, even though we don't see our hands or anything like that, if we could see a shadow walking around. You know. I don't want to get mauled by a bear out here. I imagine that would just absolutely destroy a lot of the uh, clothing that we have too. So it would be like, even if we shot the bear and eventually it died, it would be like one step forward and about four steps back. So, I figure we might as well go out and do this exploring while we're 
waiting for the, all that stuff to cure. Plus, uh, we have a lot of meat that we can use, and uh, we're waiting for that bear hide to cure. I could go off and shoot another bear, but I kind of like to pretend like this is, you know, I like to like to role play this. And, uh, I wouldn't go out there and just shoot another bear and waste a bunch of meat intentionally, just so I could get another bear hide curing. I don't know if you can get up there. Huh. Not even sure if I'm going the right way. I think I am. It sort of feels like it. I think this is the way we originally came in. Yeah, I think. Is this the. Maybe. I don't, uh, maybe we're below the. Uh, uh, I think we are. I think we're actually below the. Uh, I think the. the tree is going to be over here or over here somewhere. Just across. Let's get our rifle back out since I think we're in bear country. For the most part. Okay, I think we're down in a, a ravine actually. I think if we this way. We might need to double back. Go up and around. Yeah, there it is. That's it. I think that's the one we're looking for. So we need to go up and around. Well, in the meantime, let's go down here. I don't think we've been down this way. 38 degrees. We're nice and toasty. I tell you what, it's it's frigid out there. And uh, negative 22 degrees with the wind chill. And we're not. It's not even touching us. That's why the clothing is so important. It really, really slows down the... Yeah, there it is. That's what I was looking for. I got off on the wrong exit. I'm going to say. Now, I think this is a dead end down here, but there might be something worth getting down here. I'm not sure. There's going to be a container or just nothing. It looks like there's nothing. It's a big waste of time. Oh, there's some rose hips. Yay, score. <laughs> Anything down here? Oh, there's some firewood. Okay. I guess I'll take it. Probably need to bed down somewhere tonight. So might as well just grab the free firewood, save the axe as much as we can. Alright, let's head on back out. So I was just checking the temperatures again, see if anything changed since we're tucked back in there a little bit more, a little more wind protected. Here's the plane. Talk about feeling boxed in. It's like there's nowhere to go. All right, let's head on back up here. Try to maneuver our way back around to that tree. So we finally got snow here. Another well, we had we had some snow, I don't know, probably about three weeks ago or something like that. But then it got really warm. I mean, like into the mid 50s, like immediately following that. So this snow was extremely short lived. But uh, looks like this snow might stick around for a while. We're supposed to get a few days of it, and uh, then it's supposed to stay cold for the remainder of the at least the 10 day forecast that I can see. And uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. My oldest uh, daughter, two and a half years old, didn't have to teach her anything. She, I mean, uh, we went out to, to uh, get in the car to go drop her off at, at my 
mom and dad's house while I was going to this doctor's appointment that I have. And um, I'm actually a little bit early, that's why I'm playing this right now, but she goes out there and without without any type of instruction or anything, she just balls up a some snow and throws it at me. So she start you know, I, I freaking clocked her, man. I got her good with the snowball, so don't feel bad. And um, you know, hey, she started it, so I finish it. That's the way I look at it. Actually, she, she finished it. Um, we got to my mom and dad's house, and I went to give her a hug goodbye. She was out there shoveling with her little uh, frozen uh, Queen Elsa shovel. She did a pretty good job of it, too. And uh, unbeknownst to me, she had a secret snowball stashed away. And uh, I went down to, and I picked her up, and I gave her a hug, and bam, she just smashed it right into my chest. Like, not into my chest, but like above my collar of the shirt I was wearing, so it all just went straight down. So, I mean, she nailed me. She got, she won. She got me. What can I say? And uh, my mom promptly started laughing at me. Or her. It felt like she was laughing at me. I think she was laughing at me. Luckily for me, it was pretty cold outside, so I started to cry a little bit, and tears just froze right where they were, so no, nobody ever saw me. Let me start crying because I lost. I'm like Cam Newton in that way. Sore loser. <laughs> Not really. Man, talk about a sore loser, right? And how much money did Peyton Manning get for mentioning Budweiser <laughs> during his. There, oh. Oh, Willow West is now playing Firewatch? Okay, people, we're going to have to go ahead and uh, stop this episode. I thought they were going to start. I thought they were going to release that in about an hour. From when I started filming this, so I thought there was about another 45 minutes. Um, all right, well, we're gonna throw down a bedroll and uh, go film some Firewatch. So, uh, yeah, sorry to uh, promptly end this, but uh, we'll continue our adventures. Wait, there's probably a cave up here. I can probably just bed into. It. I don't know. Rabbit, there's. A, is that the second deer we just saw? They're dropping like flies. All right, well let's just. Uh, this is a cave. This looks like a cave. She just started playing Firewatch. She's trying to get the jump, man, is what she's doing. All right. And I got a doctor. I didn't know this. The Firewatch uh, was supposed to deploy at around 2 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and my doctor's appointment that I set up, like, weeks ago, uh, 2.15. So, yeah, go figure. Good timing there, buddy. I never go to the doctor either, so I don't know what the heck happened there. But uh, All right, let's just throw this down. 41 degrees, let's sleep for one hour to save it. So y'all are going to think I probably died in this episode because it's super short, but nope, sorry. Willow, what you could blame Willow us for this short episode. She popped up there on the Steam notification saying she started playing Firewatch, so I'm going to do the same. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little mini minisode, I guess, and uh, I hope you guys really enjoy Firewatch. I'm looking forward to it. So um, enough freezing, let's go uh, enjoy some of the Wyoming sun. See you in the next episode, guys.